Welcome to the New Orleans Jazz Pop Harp Series. Today we're going to learn how to play the Joropa Rhythm of South America. We will be using my composition Joropa Paralleli to demonstrate a few simple patterns that you can use to add color to your music. You can download the written music by going to my website patricefisher.com. You can also sign up for our mailing list on my website to get updates about future classes. You can watch a video of both the solo version and my Latin jazz group version of Haropa Paralili on my Patrice Fisher and Arpa YouTube page. The introduction of Haropa Paralili is in 3-4 time. It's in the key of D minor. The first two sections are made of four chords, D minor, B flat, G minor, and A. D minor, B flat, G minor, A. You can also play just the root of the chord, the name of the chord, D, B flat, G, A. To learn the melody by ear, we're going to divide it into fragments. In fragment one, step up from the D to the F, D, E, F. The rhythm is jigified, which means the first note D is long and the second note E is short. One, two, and three. D, E, F. After a rest of one beat, step down from finger one on G to finger two on F. This is the first half of the A section. D, E, F, rest, G, F. D, E, F, rest, G, F. One, ready, go. D, E, F. G, F. Repeat the first half of the phrase, the D, E, F, with the jigified rhythm, D, E, F, but in the second half you end by stepping down from finger one on A to finger two on G. Instead of G, F, the second half ends on A, G. This is the second half of A. D, E, F, A, G. You're going to play the A section two times. D, E, F, G, F, D, E, F, A, G. Let's try it together. One, ready, go. And repeat it. Fragment two of Haropa Paralili, the B section, starts with a descending D minor chord. A, F, D. Here's your D minor chord. Descend one, two, three in the same jigified rhythm as the A section. Long, short, long. After a rest of one beat, step up quickly from D to F, D, E, F. A, F, D, D, E, F. This is followed by E, F, E in the same jigified rhythm, E, F, E. You end this section with the pickup notes F, G. This leads you back so you can repeat the section. So, A, F, D, D, E, F, E, F, E, F, G. This is the B section. You play the B section two times, but the last two notes of the second B section are F to E instead of F to G. 
So you go down the second time in second half instead of going up like the first half. Here is the right hand of the B section of Haroko Paralleli. A, F, D, D, E, F, E, F, E, G, F, G, A, F, D, D, E, F, E, F, E. This time go down F, E. Let's play it together. One, ready, go. The left hand chords of the B section are the same as the A section. D, down to B flat, down to G, up to A. Hands together. together. Ready, set, go. And that's the B section of Haropo Paralleli. Let's play the A section and the B section with hands together. Try that again. One, ready, go. That's the A and the B sections with both hands played together of Haropa Paralleli. The third section of Haropa Paralleli, the C section, starts with a motive which is based on a B flat chord, played quickly up, down, and up. F, D, B flat, D, F. Here's your B-flat chord. You're going to start with your thumb. One, two, three, two, one. F, D, B-flat, D, F. After your first time of playing this motive, step down in quarter notes from E to C. E, D, C. Here's the first part of the C section of Haropa Paralleli. F, D, B, D, F, E, D, C. Let's play it together. One, ready, go. Play the motive again a second time with the B flat chord going down and up. After the second time playing the B flat motive, end the phrase by stepping down from G to E instead of E to C. G, F, E, the second part of the C section. G, F, E, here's the first part. E, D, C, 
the second part. G, F, E. Play the B flat chord motive again for a third time, just like the first time. End the phrase by stepping down in quarter notes from E to C. Play the motive again, the B flat chord motive again for a fourth time, but this time end by going up to a high A and then stopping. This is the C section. Let's go through it slowly. The first part, every part starts with the B flat chord motive. E, D, C. G, E, like the beginning, E, D, C, A, the C section is played twice. Let's play it together. One, ready, go. You can play the left hand of the C section in two different ways. The easy way is to play your left hand by going back and forth from B to C. B flat, C. You do that three times. On the fourth time, go down to A. So here's the easy way, B flat, C, two times, three times, the fourth time go down to A. Here's how it sounds with the melody. your hands end up on A at the end. The second way to play your left hand is a little more complicated but it builds excitement. You start on the, a lower B flat and step up ascending the B scale until you get to G. So B flat, C, D, E, F, when you get to G, skip the A, go to B flat, and descend to A to end. So you play the whole B flat scale, skip the A, but go to B flat and end on A. So here's how the more complicated left hand sounds. B flat, C. and the chords of this tune are relatively simple. So let's try uh, the last C section with the more complicated left hand. Here's the easy way. One, two, three, ready, set, go. Here's the more complicated way, not too much more complicated. One, two, three, ready, set, go. section of Haropo Paralili. 
The melody and the chords of this tune, Haropa Paralili, are relatively simple. You can play it with a single left hand note, playing the harmony note. But now we'll apply some elements of the Haropa rhythm of South America, which gives it a more syncopated feeling. I have written three other parts which mimic what the quattro player, the bass player, and the maracas player would do in a typical Venezuelan music quartet. Many Latin American rhythms, including Joropo, have both the feeling of a 3-4 rhythm and a 6-8 rhythm at the same time. Here's what the second player or other harmony instrument would play. The left hand plays the root of the chord and the fifth of the chord. In a D minor chord, that would be D and A. A is five steps up from D. D, E, F, G, A. However, instead of going up from the root to the fifth, you go down to the fifth. You play the root of the chord on the first beat and the fifth of the chord on the anticipation of the third beat. This takes some getting used to for North Americans. The first chord of the A section is D minor. The root or name of the chord is D. The fifth of the chord, which is five steps higher than D, is A. Play your the root of the chord D with your thumb and play the fifth of the chord A with your second finger going down. Remember, we're going to play the root of the chord on the first beat and the fifth of the chord on the anticipation of the third beat. This gives your left hand the feeling of playing in six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Your right hand is going to copy the same notes that your left hand played, but play them together on the anticipation of the second beat and again on the third beat. It can be a little tricky to start, but once you can hear the syncopation, it gets easier. It's much easier to play syncopation by ear than to read it. Let's take an intermediate step though. Pretend that you're playing a polka rhythm or a boom chuck boom chuck rhythm. fifth of the chord and we're still repeating the same notes in our right hand but no syncopation. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's play it together. D, one, two, three, four. D, Two, three, four time with syncopation. The first left hand note is on beat one. The first right hand chord is off the beat on the end of one. The second left hand note is off the beat. The second right hand chord is on the third beat. It sounds like this. One and two and three. One and two and three. Or you can think it's six, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember your thumb plays the root of the chord and your second finger plays the fifth of the chord but goes down by a fourth. In the A section, the chords are D minor, Chords are in the B section, D, B, G, A. In 
the C section, the chords are B flat down to F, C down to G, three times B down to F, C down to G, third time B flat, C, fourth time down, the last chord is A, and just stop on A. So here's the C section chords. advanced version chords of the C section, you have to go down to this lower B so you can get all the way up here. So we're going to go B, C, D, E, F, G, all steps, skip the A, play B flat, and come back and end on A. Here's how it sounds. B, C, together. One, two, three, ready, set, go. what player two would do in the quartet version of Haropo Paralleli. Here's what player three would do in Haropo Paralleli. This mimics what a maraca player would do in a traditional Venezuelan group. With a flat left hand, mute the strings from approximately middle C to an octave to the C above. If you can reach the mute from the B flat below middle C to the D nine notes above middle C. With your right hand, strum this rhythm against muted strings. One and two, three. One and two, three. You're gonna go down, up, down, up. One and two, three. Or, one and two and three. Down, up, down, up, down. Repeat this rhythm throughout the piece. You can experiment by improvising a little with this rhythm, but try to always accent the first beat. and only strum on the muted strings. This is what player three would play in a quartet version of Haropo Paralleli. Here's what player four will play. It's a counter melody. It follows the shape of the main melody in parts A and B, but it starts on a lower note. Instead of in the A section, instead of playing D, E, F, you start on F and play F, G, A with the same jiggified rhythm as the main melody, followed by B flat, A. It's the sh same shape as the main melody, 
but starting down six notes. F, G, A, B flat, A. Remember there's a rest on the first beat of the second measure. Rest. In the second half of the A section, repeat the F, G, A with a jigified rhythm, but follow it with a C, B flat. So in the first half, it ends B flat A. In the second half, C B. You play the A section two times. B A C B. Let's do it together. Ready, set, go. Left hand is the same chords. D, B flat, G, A. Let's play the hand, our hands together. is played two times. Let's play it together. Ready, set, go. Section B of the counter melody follows the shape of the main melody, but it starts on a lower note. Play C, A, F in the jigified rhythm. C, A, F. Rest on the first beat of the next measure and then play quick notes. F, G, A. So C, A, F, F, G, A. In the second half of the B section, it starts with G, A, G in the jigified rhythm. Rest on the first beat of the next measure and then play quarter notes G, A. A, B, it ends in A, B. Let's play together. Ready, set, go. The left hand of the B section is the same as the A section, D down to B flat, down to G, up to A. Let's play it together. Ready, set, go. section two times. When you get to the C section, player four has the main melody in a different shape and rhythm from player one. Now player four has a quarter note melody, jump down in a fourth from F to C and return back up to F. End on a long G. F, C, F, G. F, C, F, G. 
the second part of the C section starts again with the quarter note melody F down to C back up to F. But instead of rests playing G, a long G, you step down G, F, E, the second part of section C, F, C, F, G, F, E. Here's the first part and the second part. Let's play it together. Ready, set, go. F, C, F, long G. F, C, F, G, F, E. The third part of section C of the counter melody is completely different. The quarter note melody steps down by four notes from A to E. A, G, F, E, followed by F, E. A, G, F, E, F, E. Here's the first three sections of the counter melody C section. F, C, F, G. F, C, F, G, F, E. A, G, F, E, F, E. And here is the last part of section C. Continue the quarter note melody down from F to D. F, E, D, and end with a long A. F, E, D, A. F, E, D, A. So here is all of section C, the counter melody. Ready, set, go. Second time, step down from F, from G to E. Now a long scale from A. F, E, F, E, D, A. Let's try section C, the whole thing with the left hand. Remember the easy left hand, B flat to C. Three times. Last time, go down to A. Ready, set, go. This is the counter melody, part four of the quartet version of Harubo Paralyti. After you master the melody and the counter melody, you can try adding a bass line that mimics what a bass player would do in a traditional Venezuelan group. Your left hand plays the root of the chord on the first beat and then descends a fourth to play the the fifth of the chord, A, D down to A, on the third beat of the measure. So, one, two, three, D down to A. The second chord is B flat down to F. The third chord is G down to D. And the fourth chord is A down to E. Let's play it together. One, ready, go. D. This piece, Haropa Paralili, does not pretend to be a traditional Venezuelan Haropo. It was inspired by the fantastic musicians that I met in Venezuela while I was participating in a music festival in Caracas. You can read my blog about the history and the origins of the Haropo on my website, patricefisher.com and in the summer 2021 issue of the Folk Harp Journal. 
I interviewed several South American harpists, including Angel Tolosa, Fernando Guerrero Briseño, and Dr. Alfredo Rolando Ortiz. They each give their unique perspectives about this beautiful genre of South American music. this class. This video is produced by Musicians for Music and the New Orleans chapter of the American Harp Society with the additional support of Kamek Harps. It is funded in part by a community partnership grant of the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation and by a small arts organization CARES Relief Grant from the Louisiana Division of the Arts, Office of Cultural Development, Department of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism, in cooperation with the Louisiana State Arts Council. Funding has also been provided by the National Endowment for the Arts. Our audio and video producer is Carlos Valladares. You can make a donation to help us continue this series by going to paypal.me slash Patrice Fisher. You can watch a performance video of this composition by my group on Patrice Fisher and ARPA YouTube page. Please subscribe to our series to get updates on future classes. You can download the written music by going to my website patricefisher.com.